Good morning, everyone. Today we are continuing in our reading of the book of Ezekiel. Yesterday we went through part one of chapter 37, and today we're going to look at verses 15 to 28. And so we see right off the bat that Ezekiel has received a word from God that is a message of hope. Ever since King Solomon died, the nation of Israel has been split up into two different parts. We have the northern kingdom and we have the southern kingdom. And they were not getting along whatsoever. They went through war and the relationship was just not good. And so we see this word coming from God to Ezekiel to tell the people um, that no longer are there going to be two different kingdoms. He says, I will unify them into one nation on the mountains of Israel. One king will rule them all. No longer will they be divided into two nations or into two kingdoms. So this is a message of hope. No longer are there going to be two different groups of people, the northern and the southern kingdoms, but they are going to be united together. And this message goes even further. Uh, In verse 26, God says, And I will make a covenant of peace with them, an everlasting covenant. I will give them their land and increase their numbers, and I will put my temple among them forever. I will make my home among them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. And when my temple is among them forever, the nations will know that I am the Lord who makes Israel holy. So this prophecy is ultimately looking to the person of Jesus. God came in the form of man and made his home dwelled among man. And that's what this is talking about. And and ultimately, the message of No more division for, you know, Israel is another message that there's no longer going to be division at when Jesus comes either. When he, when Jesus died and rose again, we see that all barriers, all divisions were just completely obliterated. And it says in the, in the New Testament that there are neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free. And that's the message of unity that comes with Jesus. We are all believers united together in Jesus. So let's rejoice today that by the death and resurrection of Jesus, there are no longer any divisions among believers. The things that divide us are not that important compared to the overwhelming power that comes through the unity of Jesus' blood. We are all united in that truth. I hope that brings you some encouragement today. Grace and peace to you all. See you next time. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.